What is what is what? unbridled extent? I don't know. We're gonna toy, I guess. This, this Track use only. Let's yes. Oh, Not intended for public roads. Regenerative braking recovery are all reduced. Let's go. Oh, let's man. go race mode on the street. Let's go. Uh, Alright, from a dig. Let's go. Oh, oh wow, there we go. Fuck. My back. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be electrifying. Yeah, we're over here with my buddy. This is the new Maki -E GT. Let's check it out. Let, we'll get to the story in a second. Let's check out this car. <laughs> We've been modding the Supra, but we're going to do some more Mustang content today. If you want to call this a Mustang. It is the future. Everybody's going electric. And this is, I guess, where you would want to put your money into. So anyway, guys, Rob is a true Mustang enthusiast. Behind this one here. Anyway, he's got a, here we go. Yeah, just in case. Just Anybody don't think I have a real Mustang? This is my wife's car. Yeah, he does have a real Mustang. Shelby GT350 Pro Charge makes a bunch of power. You dabble with import as well. Yeah, my, my experience with electric is, is limited, honestly. So Ken let me drive a dealership Mach 1. I'm sorry, Mach 1. Mach E, but it wasn't the GT. Don't want to like it, but man. But strictly, this is my wife's car. She was, we had a 2020 Explorer ST. She was bitching about gas. How about I make you a deal? I was like, we'll go order you an electric Mustang because it'll solve your gas problem. Yep. Put you into a Mustang. If you want to call it a Mustang. Hypothetically speaking, <laughs> right? It's all wheel drive, which yeah. is used to, so it's good for the winter. And it's got all the technology, gizm and gasm, Blue Cruise drive itself that she wants on there. That's crazy, and really? So, yeah, that's the drive itself, Blue Cruise. What? Itself. I actually did get to test drive one of the new Lightnings. Okay, and like blew me away because I was told like from a 20 mile an hour hit, you punch it, it's gonna feel like you're launching a drag strip. Oh yeah. There's a truck behind me. All right, go ahead. All right, stand. Oh my gosh, there he goes. 50, 60. Yeah, that's fast. For a freaking F-150, the way it's probably a fortune. Can you believe this? Xander 13 is saying that a EV car is fast. We're going. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, that feels freaking crazy. I need this freaking gas powered ancient dinosaur F-150 to get out of the way. Freaking electric, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, get out of the way. Trying to go fast. I was blown away. It was it was freaking fast. Oh yeah. It died on the top end a little bit, but the same. initial hit it just does the same thing. Does it really? Yeah. Well, let's check out the Maki -E GT Mustang. Let's see what it's all about. Let's go. Gave me the keys to a new Ford Mustang. Got Mustangs back on the channel, guys. Let's go. <laughs> it does. I see that. It's pretty freaking sick, dude. Those are giant. Brembo's on an electric car that is saying something. Let's do a little exterior walk around. Yeah, very different than the regular base model Mach E's I've seen. Yeah. I saw the Mach E E4X. I thought it was like some kind of special edition, you know, Ford's gonna put out but not sell it to the public. Yeah. And he was like, oh brother, this is the GT. He was like, we haven't released that yet. This is like, cool. I was like, what? I was like, this looks really, really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. We, she like it so far? She likes it. Oh, yeah. So, so this is where the 90, that's where the 93 goes? So 104. 104 uh, octane, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is your door handle. How does this work? Push it. Push, the button. push it. Oh my gosh, that's freaking cool. Ooh, you got the Alcantara. I've not been next to it's got the every GT. You can have on a GT. The glass roof. Oh boy. Everything. Dude. Okay, let's take a skin. Oh, somebody's small was driving. So, still a Mustang apparently. You got the big screen, a lot of storage, a lot of like a, it's like a carpety material. And yeah, then you got the Alcantara. Like you got Alcantara on the doors. Let's check it out before we go for a drop. This is so like beyond me. It's like not normal. There should be a crazy huge engine under here, but it's gone. Somebody stole your engine, bro. So, so that pop the hood, she's like, where's the engine? <laughs> like, oh, it's in the back. Yeah. Like, there's no engine, <laughs> mom. I'm like, what are you? <laughs> this is the future. It has to be down there. I mean, you have the washer fluid. That's what she said. She's like, what's this for then? I was like, washer fluid. I was like, that's still mechanical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mustang. Sick. I like the color. 
so it doesn't close. Oh crap. You gotta push it down on the hood. Push what? it down hard, yep. Really? Push down like I'm pushing real hard. Like like push it. Push it. Push it. You I I don't wanna break it. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See. Oh look at that. What is this? Door handle. What? To get out, yep, some in the front doors too. So you get out the cars on the inside. That's freaking interesting. That's cool. So what's up? You gonna put coarse exhaust on this? I'm gonna put the Borla speaker box on here, man. Oh yeah. You know? I thought you were kidding when you said no, that. No, so. I'm I'm dead ass serious. I was like, I should be that guy. Borla active sound for electric vehicles. You thought I was really joking. Yeah, I thought no, you were dude, kidding. They, they... No. That's crazy to hear. What? It sounds good. <laughs> no, that's not like an April Fool's thing. No, that, they're seriously they they installed it on two girls' garage. They put it on a mock Maki, and then they took it down the track. Wow, <laughs> that's so and sick. My wife, I decided to get one. To make it sound like my GT350. Why not? I make mean, it sound like your old Mustang GT. Yeah. Can make it sound like a ZL1, like a ZR1. Wow. Can make it sound like a Chevy truck. Can make it sound like a F150 with exhaust on it. Any kind of exhaust system that Borla makes for any vehicle, you can change it to that. And make it sound like that. That's freaking crazy. And just speakers underneath the car. That's it's so so freaking so, nuts. Like under there somewhere. Right under here. So you take this out. So okay. You see these at? Okay. These are gonna come out. Borla gives you something to replace those with. I guess like speaker things. Yeah. To cover speaker, and that's where the speakers come in. And then you bolt that box in there, and then you go up front, and it's like some kind of little junction box you plug in there, and I guess that gets its out. And you can the tune computer. the sound. And that tells it when you're giving wow. it gas and when the car's on and everything, and then you go on the app, download the app, and <sighs> whatever exhaust you want on there, man. <laughs> wow, that's freaking nuts. You want a Mach E ZR1? <laughs> and get it done, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Mustang Mach-E GT performance package. Where did my energy go? I don't know, flooring it everywhere. It will. If you're driving, it'll tell you 100% is going. If you got the AC on, it'll tell you your climate, your wireless charger, your, ex my son had the heated seats on, tell you the exterior temp, like heated seats, wow. heated steering wheel. It tells you all we're going, it tells you how you're doing for driving. So if you're flooring it everywhere, of course your acceleration is gonna be a freaking probably 0%. Yep. And if you're like at 100 miles an hour, it's probably gonna be low. It's like when I drove that Lightning, like it was I, I could not stop you know like flooring it oh yeah it was yeah, nuts no, that's what i was doing earlier i was yeah. slamming my mom's head i mean it, was, it would scoot the tires and just take off i mean it was like a supercharge it was crazy yeah. but all the torque was from like zero rpm it was nuts oh yeah so unbridled that's for me i got all the freaking oh what, what, is, what is unbridled extend one pedal drive not a bit, probably a fast mode is that like the super fast what is what is what? Unbridled extend. I don't know. We're gonna toy. I guess this, this, this. unbridled extend is for track use only. Let's yes, oh, not yes. intended for public roads. Yes, I think that that's traction cool. control, stability, intervention, regenerative braking, recovery are all reduced. Let's go and tuned for a race. Let's go. Oh, Let's man. go race mode on the street. Let's go. All right, here we go. I have no clue. We're gonna find out in just a second when we get out here on the road what this feels like, and I'm excited. So I don't know. I was doing it earlier, man. It was, it was slamming my head back in the seat. It's an uh, uh, electrified mirror. Walmart got everything, though. Yeah. Oh, shit. I told you, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, and it look, it's breaking sure. Itself. That's one panel. I'm not even touching the brake. Oh, my gosh. Sell it all, dude. Getting one of these. I told oh. you, dude. This crap is crazy, man. Oh. I'm taking another track too. I'm about to go make a bunch of people <laughs> ride the eighth mile real quick. <laughs> and every time I beat him, I'm like, this is the future. <laughs> Bro, what like what's the horsepower of this? Like, isn't it like 400? 480, or... I think, and like 637 foot pounds of torque. Bro, that felt like 700. Oh, what? <laughs> That's dumb. I can't lift my head. It feels like 700 horsepower plus and like the drag strip taking off. It's all that instant torque, man. It's all wheel drive too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all wheel drive. My wife needs to drive one of these. We go buy a Mach-E GT. We're gonna be at another Mustang, guys, but it may not be <laughs> gas powered. <laughs> oh, sh Nike's Bobby. That's oh, that's dumb. That's freaking brutal. It sounds like a dang 
Sorry, you hear a like, little. Well, it's because I got the propulsion thing on. Well, so. the, the lightning has no noise. So it was fast, but it was boring. This is. See ya. Gosh. At least you hear something. Oh, dude. Are you ready? You gotta race about. Come on. What was that? Snack pack? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a little, little snack pack back there. Hey, this thing is quick. I can't lift my head. Jeez. It handles pretty good. It's got the Magna Ride on here. Oh, it's got Magna Ride? Yeah, it's got Magna Ride. Got Magna Ride. Well, this is like, I guess, the more track it is. Yep. version. Yep. It's got all the performance stuff you can put on here, minus the motor. Bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. This I'm a little jelly right now. Honestly. Good. And like I said, you don't want to like it, but you I mean, you help. have to freaking like it, right? The sunglasses about came off my head. You have to like it, right? Now, if you could just give me that power throughout the whole band for as long as I want it, I mean. Yeah. Like, I want to I wanna ride in a Tesla Plaid. That'd be freaking yeah. sick. Wow. One pedal right here. Wow. <laughs> don't even got to touch the brakes. I'm just going to sit here. And it won't go until I touch the gas. This is so stupid fast. I can't. <laughs> this thing is crazy, man. I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. Why am I screwed around with freaking regular cars? Because, <laughs> because Alex, we're old heads. <laughs> I love the... We, we want to accept it, but we don't want to accept it. You know? I, I love the, the rumble and the feel. And I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I think you just converted me to electric, no, honestly. I'll say that. No, I know. But, well, you got both. You get to enjoy both. Jesus. <laughs> I feel the blood pull into the back of my head. This thing is stupid fast. It's it's torque is what it is. Like the horsepower is whatever, but the you torque is- You can feel is, the horsepower dropping off of the end, but that instant torque throwing you back in the seat, it's keeping you pinned there. Yeah. The entire width. Yeah. Power width or power band width. I mean, yeah. We turn around and let you, let you get a whirl back to the house. Oh, yes. Let's do that. All right. My turn, baby. Let's go. Electric Maki GT, let's drive it. Oh my goodness. It's like freaking 20% throttle. Pushing my freaking heart against my rib cage <laughs> towards the back <laughs> of my spine. All right, from a dig, let's go. Oh! oh wow, there we go. Stop. My back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see how long it takes this. Oh, it's like a freaking car, dude. It handles well. Wow. It doesn't handle like a CUV at all, and as for as heavy it is, yeah. I mean, Steeda did that run against their modified GT2 performance pack, yeah. And this one, and the only reason why it won is because the instant torque coming out of the corners to get it out of the straightaway is fast. I can believe it. But I mean, it handled stock. I mean, that's, that's, versus their yeah. modded GT2 performance or you know performance pack two GT one they had. They got a video of it. You'll see it. It goes around. You can see where the Mustang, the I, the ice motor, loses its time coming around the corner. Mm -hmm. Where this is coming out, and they step on an instant torque, throws you, slingshots you right out of that corner. Cool. Oh my <laughs> lord! <laughs> oh, we go! <laughs> oh my gosh! And it's got the uh, oh the the I think the Michelin Pilot Sports on here. There's like I can feel a little a little slip, a little slip and go. I mean, but that's that's. That's him freaking impressive. Oh my lord. Oh man. I can't even remember the last time I was in a car where it just throws your head back like that. Like you have to be on the drag strip with something with power and like launch. You know, like this is doing it on street tires with with going 50 miles an hour. With and the torque is and you're all getting, the way down low. Yep. Was well, torque all the time, instant torque. Yeah. So as soon as you dump the, the pedal, it's six hundred some odd freaking foot pounds of torque. Instant, you know, there's no work in there. There's no power band. There's no RPM bandwidth where you got to get to that torque. You know, I mean, it's it's like right there. This is even the lightning. Lightning's quick, but it's you know, Floyd was telling me the same thing. He was like, uh, the lightning's quick, and I was asking him. I was like, which is Floyd is my is my the, the our car dealer. Yeah, and uh, he was like, it's quick, it's quick, man. I was like, like Mustang Mach E GT quick. He's like. Oh no, it ain't that fast. I was like, really? I was like, because I'm hearing that thing is pretty dang fast. And he's like, yeah, he's like, it's not that fast though. So it pulls my stomach. I'm telling you, dude. Like that's it pushes everything back towards your your spinal cord that's so and keeps it there. Brilliant. 
until the power drops off after that five seconds. And the beauty of it is, Alex, is I can go in my garage and charge it right back up and be at 100% and go out and do it the next day. Yep. Oh, with the brakes, brakes, brakes. There you go. This car, is good. this car will get me in trouble, dude. I don't know the good thing is for my wife, because it's probably going to get me in trouble. But I am going to take it to the drag strip, I told you, or that. This, oh, yeah. I'm taking it to Clarksville Speedway. Oh, you can screw up some... Oh, well, I want to hurt everybody's feelings yeah. out there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a V8 guy. Yeah, I mean, you have to... But... Yeah, you have to... But give... why not bring out an electric vehicle and just embarrass having V8 out there? Because it's not going to beat you in the eighth. I mean, you're going to have to need some power. To, to beat an electric car in the eighth, you plain better, and simple. Yeah, you better be turboed, supercharged. Everything. You better be having the scramble button right off the line, you know? <laughs> scramble You're going like to have to hit the scramble button you. right off the line. Oh, let's go. Yeah. I mean, in the quarter, a quarter you'll, you'll definitely smoke this because this loses all its power up top. I mean, my 350 will eat this up top, but from a dig in the eighth, no. Oh, no, this gosh. thing is going to eat everybody's lunch. Not bad, right? Nice glass sunroof. It's got all the, the Mustang Shebanga Bang stuff in here. I think I ate something bad. My stomach <laughs> was really bad. There's my first experience with the Mach-E Mustang. Sorry. Mustang, because I guess it is a Mustang. That's what there's Ford saying it's a Mustang, so I don't think it's a Mustang. That's what I think my it's, insurance card says, too. Whatever the heck this car is, it's fast, and it's quick, and I want one. So it's a Mach-E Mustang Mach-E GT Performance Edition. Performance Edition. Because just a regular GT still isn't as fast as the Performance Edition. What did this thing cost? Sticker was seventy-two. Yep, sticker was seventy-two Aww. with the with the tax credit, uh, seventy-five hundred, and then my well, deposit, good. and then I got X Plan and all that. I think it was something like. Uh, I mean, most cars these days are 59. costing like fifty, sixty thousand. It was like fifty-nine. I mean, honestly, though, like the, the 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 new Mustang coming out, the twenty four, it's probably going to be sixty grand any way you slice it. Oh man, have you seen the new BMW M two coming out? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, that yeah, thing yeah. is freaking bad. I'm I'm a Mustang guy, but the, that new M two, it's got like the five hundred horsepower. Oh, yeah, and we're Mustang, but I mean, come on, man, you have to give credit. To yes, totally. So uh, <clears throat> anyway. That's the video. I really am digging this car. This thing is freaking lightning fast. Even though it's not lightning, it's way faster than lightning. This thing is brilliant, and I want one, and yeah. Are you going to come out the track uh, when uh -huh. I bring it out here? Uh-huh. So the running joke is, like, I told him I'm going to take this on track so I can hear the tears of the V8s falling down the track as I'm beating them every time in the eighth mile and they can't figure it out or the one they can but you gotta race Colton in his Supra oh, he, no. he's, he, Colton's gonna watch he's gonna hear me say this on video and be like man that mother <laughs> <laughs> you got called out bro you got to show up electrify the world Colton uh oh he'll do it too he'll go buy one <laughs> <laughs> I want one he's gonna get rid of that Harley for live wire next <laughs> I, I might do the same thing what <laughs> <laughs> electric baby you've driven everything else electric truck car and all you need to do is drive the bike this is oh gosh man and that's it yeah i don't know getting away from the harley rumble is gonna be tough but all right i appreciate you guys watching yeah let me know in the comments if you made it this far and what your experience has been like with electric and i guess we just turn it off just by hitting the that's button. it turn it off all right god bless you guys i will see you in the next video stay safe that's this this car is freaking brutal <laughs>